East Java, Indonesian, Jawa Timur, abbreviated as Jatim, Javanese, Jawa Watan, Madaris, Java Dimor, is a province of Indonesia. Located in eastern Java, it includes the island of Madura, which is connected to Java by the longest bridge in Indonesia, the Suramadu Bridge, as well as the Kanjian and Masalembu archipelagos located further east and north, respectively. Its capital is Surabaya, the second largest city in Indonesia and a major industrial center. Banyuwangi is the largest regency in East Java and the largest on the island of Java. It covers an area of 47,800 square kilometers. According to the 2010 census estimates, there were 37,476,757 people residing in the East Java, making it Indonesia's second most populous province. The latest official estimate for January 2014 is 41,529,481. It has a land border only with the province of central Java to the west, the Java Sea and the Indian Ocean border its northern and southern coasts, respectively, while the narrow Bali Strait to the east separates Java from Bali. History The Dinoyo inscriptions found near the city of Malong are the oldest written sources in East Java, dating from 760 CE. They tell of many political and cultural events in the kingdom of Dinoyo. The name of Malong is thought to come from the name of a sacred building called Malangkusaswara. This name is contained in at least one inscription, namely, the Mantiasa inscription written in 907 CE. In 1222, Ken Eric founded the Kingdom of Singazari, which he ruled until 1292. Before coming to power, Ken Eric seized power in Tumapel Kedari, from Tungal Amating. Ken Eric dynasty's descendants became kings of Singazari and Majapahit from the 13th until the 15th century. In 1227, Anusapati killed Ken Eric, and later became king of Singasari. Anusapati's power only lasted 20 years, before he was killed by Tajaya. Three years later, Tajaya was killed in the uprising led by Jaya Visnuadana, son of Anusapati. In 1268, Visnuadana died, and he was succeeded by Kirtanagara 1268 to 1292. In 1292 Kirtanagara was defeated by a rebel named Jayakatwang, ending the power of Kirtanagara power and the history of Singazari. In 1294, the kingdom of Majapahit was founded. Its founder was Raiden Wijaya. Majapahit reached its peak during the reign of Hayam Wurik. He was accompanied by the Mahapati Gajamata. Together they managed to unite the vast territory under the name Dwipantara. In 1357, the Bubid event occurred, the war between the king of Sunda and the Majapahit Pati Gajamata. This event stems from the desire to take the king Hayam Wurik Sundanese princess named Daya Pitaloka as queen. However, because of a misunderstanding about the procedure of marriage, the plan led to a battle in Bubit. Majapahit troops, under the command of Gajamata defeated Pajajaran. In 1389, Hayam Wurik died, and was succeeded by Wikramawardhana. This era was the beginning of the collapse of Majapahit. After that period, Islam began to spread across Java and the Europeans started their colonization of the Malay archipelago. At the beginning of the 20th century, the royal government system was abolished, replaced by a system of residency. During the Japanese occupation of the Dutch East Indies, there was persistent resistance against the Japanese rule. In Blitter, an uprising by Pita, defenders of the homeland, led by Sapriati, Moorati, Halir Mankudajoyo, and Somarto occurred in early 1945, but it was crushed by the Japanese. Two weeks after the proclamation of independence, Surabaya established its own government in the shape of a resident, R. Sudirman. The formation of government in Surabaya caused disputes between the Republican forces and Japanese troops, resulting in various skirmishes across the city. This was because when the Japanese surrendered, they were obliged to remain in power until the Allied forces arrived. The arrival of Allied forces in Surabaya created tensions with the newly established government of Indonesia, reaching peak on 10 November 1945 where a major battle between the Surabayan residents led by Sutomo and Allied forces. The battle forced the governor, Sir Yo, on the advice of People's Security Army TKR, to move the seat of the government to the Mojokerto area. A week later, the government retreated again to a more secure location in Kedari. 
However, security situation Kedari worsened until finally, in February 1947, the East Java provincial government fled to Malong. While the administration was based in Malong, Governor Suryo was replaced by R. P. Soroso, who was in turn replaced again by Dr. Morjani. On 21 July 1947, although still bound by the Lingajati Agreement and a ceasefire agreement in effect since 14 October 1946, the Dutch commenced a military action, Operation Product, which led to deteriorating security conditions in Malong. The East Java provincial government finally moved again to Blitter. This military action ended after the Renville Agreement. However, this agreement had negative consequences for East Java, namely, a reduction in the territory controlled by the East Java provincial government. The Netherlands then turned the areas under its control into new states, such as the state of Madura and the state of East Java. Amid the difficulties faced by the government of Indonesia, a left-wing opposition group, Front Demokrasi Rakyat (FDR), People's Democratic Front, launched rebellion in Madian on the 18th of September 1948, which is known as the Madian Affair. However, eventually this revolt was defeated by the Indonesian army. On 19 December 1948, the Dutch launched Operation Krai. Blitter, which the seat of the East Java provincial government was attacked by the Dutch. Governor Dr. Morjani and his staff were forced to flee and joined the guerrillas on the slopes of Mount Willis. Operation Krai ended after the Roem van Rooyen Agreement on 7 May 1949. Following the Dutch-Indonesian Round Table Conference, at which the Netherlands agreed to transfer sovereignty to the United States of Indonesia, the Dutch withdrew its troops from East Java. East Java changed its status from a province into a state. However, on 25 February 1950, this was dissolved and became part of the territory of the Republic of Indonesia. The state of Madura also decided to join Indonesia. Geography East Java Province borders the Java Sea in the north, the Strait of Bali in the east, the Indian Ocean in the south, as well as the central Java Province in the west. The length of the east-west stretch of about 400 kilometers. The width of the stretch of the north-south in the west about 200 kilometers, but in the eastern part of narrower by about 60 kilometers. Madura is the largest island in East Java, separated from the mainland Java by the Strait of Madura. Bawaan Island is located about 150 kilometers north of Java. In the east of Madura there are a cluster of islands, the easternmost is Kanjian Island and the northernmost is Masalambu Islands. In the southern part there are two small islands namely Nusa Barong and Sempu Island. In physiographic, East Java Province can be grouped into three zones, the southern zone Plato, the middle zone volcanic, and the northern zone folds. Lowlands and highlands in the middle of Nawi, Blitter, Malong, Tabandawoso, has a fairly fertile soil. In the northern part, Bojanegoro, Tuban, Gresik, to Madura Island, lies the Kapur Utara Mountains and the Kendang Mountains, which are relatively barren. In the middle of the province stretch mountain ranges and volcanoes, on the border with central Java is Mount Lao, 3,265 meters. Southeast from Madian is Mount Willis, 2,169 meters, and Mount Lehman, 2,563 meters. In the middle of the corridor lies the Anjasmoro Mountains with peaks Mount Arjuno, 3,339 meters, Mount Wellerang, 3,156 meters, Mount Anjasmoro, 2,277 meters, Mount Kawi, 2,551 meters, and Mount Kelet, 1,731 meters. The mountains are located in most Kedari, Blitter, Malong, Pasaruan, Mojokerto, and Jombang. The group has the peak of Mount Bromo Tengger, 2,329 meters, and Mount Semeru, 3,676 meters. Mount Semeru, which is also called Mahameru, is the highest mountain in the island of Java. In the easternmost part of the province, there are two groups of mountains: the Ayang Mountains with the peak Mount Argapuro, 3,088 meters; the Ijen Mountains with the peak Mount Round, 3,344 meters. In the south there is a series of hills, that of the south coast of Pasitan, Trengalek, Tulungagung, Blitter, Malong, the Kapur Selatan Mountains is a continuation of a series of the Sewu Mountains in Yogyakarta. Two of the most important rivers in East Java is the Brantas River 290 km, and the Solo River 548 km. 
Brantas River has headwaters on the slopes Mount Arjuno near Batu, and flows through most areas in East Java, like Malong, Blitter, Tulungagung, Kedari, Jombang and Mojokerto. In Mojokerto, Brantas River split into two, Kali Mas, and Poring, both empties into the Madura Strait. Solo River has headwaters on the slopes of Mount Lao which lies on the border of East Java and Central Java, and flows through a portion of the eastern part of Central Java and East Java, which eventually empties in Gresik. Brantas River and Bangawan Solo are managed by Param Jasa Turta I on the slopes of Mount Lao near the border with Central Java or Sarangan, a natural lake. The main dam in East Java, among others I.R. Sutami and Celarejo Dam, which is used for irrigation, fish farming and tourism. East Java has a wet tropical climate. Compared with the western part of Java Island, East Java in general has less rainfall. Average rainfall is 1,900 mm per year, with a rainy season during the 100 days. The average temperature ranges between 21 to 34 degrees Celsius. Temperatures in the lower mountain areas, and even in areas Ranu Pani, slopes of Mount Semeru, temperatures can reach minus 4 degrees Celsius, causing a downfall of soft snow. Administrative divisions East Java is divided into 29 Kabupaten, or regencies, and 9 Kotamadya, or cities. This list of regions with their areas and populations at the 2000 and 2010 and at the latest, January 2014, census estimates. Demography According to the 2000 census, East Java had 34,765,993 people, which increased to 37,476,757 people at the 2010 census, making it the second most populous Indonesian province after West Java. Akin to Central Java, the region's birth rates are not necessarily any lower than the rest of Java, however due to net population outflows, especially in times of calamity, not limited to volcanic eruptions or droughts, the region has varying rates of population growth that are generally lower than national average. Ethnic Javanese dominate the Java mainland as well as the total population of the province overall, while ethnic Madaris inhabit Madura and the Kanjian and Masalembu archipelagos, though centuries of migrations have led the Java mainland to have a larger proportion of Madaris people than Madura itself. Minorities include distinct Javanese ethnicities such as the Tengar people in Bromo, the Samin and the Osing people in Banyuwangi. East Java also hosts a significant population of foreign ethnic groups, such as Chinese, Indians, and Arabs. Languages Besides the formal language, Indonesian, East Java people use Javanese as daily language. Javanese is spoken in the western part of East Java Kolonan, is a similar dialect to the one spoken in Central Java, with its hierarchy of high, medium, and low registers. In the eastern part, such as Surabaya, Malong, and others, a more egalitarian version of Javanese is spoken, with less regard of hierarchy and a richer vocabulary for vulgarity. The dialect is notable for its roughness compared to other dialects spoken elsewhere in Java, especially the Mataram dialect spoken around Surakarta and Yogyakarta, which is renowned for its smoothness and contributes to the stereotype among Javanese people of East Javanese being blunt and loud. Variants of Javanese are also used by Osing and Tengar minorities, the former utilizing a Balinese-influenced Javanese by virtue of its closeness with Bali Island, and the latter speaking an archaic form of the language that retains many features now lost in other more innovative Javanese dialects. Other than Javanese, minority language includes Madaris, spoken by around 15 million ethnic Madaris people inhabiting Madura and the Kanjian and Masalembu Islands. Though they live practically next door with the Javanese, the language is actually more closer genetically to Balinese, Malay, and Sundanese. Religion A long time ago, Hinduism and Buddhism dominated the island until Islam gradually supplanted Hinduism in the 14th and 15th century. The last nobles and people of the fallen Majapahit fled to Bali. Islam spread from northern cities in Java where many Muslim traders from Gujarat, India stopped by. The eastern part of East Java, from Surabaya to Pasaruan, and the cities along the coast, and back to Banyuwangi to Jember, are known as the Eastern Salient, or Kawasan Tapal Kuda, the Horseshoe Region. 
A remnant of Hindu tradition and syncretic abangan is exist because of Islamic and Hinduism acculturation in Java. Art and culture Art East Java has a number of distinctive art. Ludric is one of the East Javanese art is quite well known, namely the art of the stage that generally all the players are male. Unlike the Kitaprak which tells the life of the palace, Ludric tells the daily life of ordinary people, often spiced with humor and social criticism, and generally opened with dance Remo, and Parakan. Currently traditional Ludric groups can be found in the area of Surabaya, Mojokerto and Jombang, although its presence increasingly defeated by modernization. REOG from Panorogo is a typical art that has been patented since 2001, and has now also become the icon of East Javanese art. Staging REOG accompanied by horse braid kuda lumping are accompanied by elements of the occult. Famous arts of East Java include puppet Purwa East Javanese style, mask mastermind in Madura, and maid. In the area Mataram and Middle Javanese arts such as Kitaprak, and shadow puppets are quite popular. Famous legend of East Java, among others Damarwulan, Angling Dharma, and Sarif Tambak Oso. Traditional dance in East Java can be generally grouped into Middle Javanese style, East Javanese style, Osing style and Maduri styles. Classical dances include Gambyung dance, dance Srimpi, dance Bondan, and Wanderer. There is also a sort of lion dance culture in East Java. Art exists in two districts namely, Bondawoso, and Jember. Singo Wolong is a distinctive culture Bondawoso. While Jember have the Tiger Kodak. Both are art that is rarely encountered. Culture Culture and customs of Javanese in the western part of East Java received a lot of influence from the Middle Javanese, so this area is known as Mataraman, indicating that the area was once the territory of the Sultanate of Mataram. The area includes the former residency of Madian, Madian, Nawi, Magadan, Panorogo, Pasadan, ex-residency Kedari, Kedari, Tulungagun, Blitter, Trengalek, Nanyuk, and part of Bojanegaro. As is the case in central Java, Wayang Kulit, and Kitaprak quite popular in this region. East Java's west coast region is heavily influenced by the Islamic culture. This area covers an area of Tuban, Lamongan and Gresik. In the past the north coast of East Java is the entry area, and the center of the development of Islam. Five of the nine members of the Wali Sangho are buried in this area. In the area of ex-residency of Surabaya, including Sidorio, Mojokerto and Jombang, and ex-residency Malong, had little cultural influence Mataraman, considering this region is an area Arik, the term for offspring Kanarik, especially in the area of Malong that make this area difficult to be affected by Mataraman culture. Customs in Horse Hooves region heavily influenced by the culture of Madura, given the magnitude of Madura tribe population in the region. Osing's social mores of the culture is a blend of Java, Madura and Bali. While the Tangjerezi tribe is heavily influenced by Hindu culture. Villagers in East Java, as well as in Central Java, has ties based on friendship, and territorial. Various ceremonies were held, among others, Tinkapan – ceremony gestational age of seven months for the first child, Babarin – ceremony before the birth of the baby, Sepaseran – ceremony after the baby was five days, Patonin – ceremony after the baby was seven months old, Circumcision – fiancé. East Java's population generally embraced monogamy. Prior to application, the men doing the show Nako. Ake, ask if the girl already had a husband, once that is done pending seed and application. The wedding ceremony was preceded by a gathering or kapongzi. Communities on the west coast, Tuban, Lamongan, Gresik, even Bojanegaro has a habit of women's families applying common man, Ganjarin, different from the usual habits of other regions in Indonesia, where the men apply for women. And generally men will then be entered into the family of the woman. To pray for the deceased person, usually a family party did send Dinga on day 1, 3rd, 7th, 40th, 100th, 1 year and 3 years after death. Education East Java hosts famous universities in Indonesia, both owned by government and private. Three major cities for universities are Surabaya, Malang, and Jember. There is also a university at Bangkalan on Madura Island. 
Among them, University of Erlanga, Universitas Brawijaya, and Institut Tecnologi Sepulo Nopember are the most famous of the province's universities. Another important form of education that is available in most cities in East Java is the Pasantran. This is a kind of socio-education organized by Islamic clerics, and associated with local or national Muslim organizations. Jambang is a famous region for its Pasantran. Media East Java supports several regional media outlets. Local newspapers with provincial news reach their readers earlier than their competitors from Jakarta. In the spirit of providing more news from around readers, most newspapers even issue municipal sections which are different among their distribution areas. Jawa Pos Group, one of the major newspaper groups in Indonesia, based in Surabaya Surya, newspaper based in Surabaya, owned by Compass Group. Tourism Malang Metropolitan Region is a famous tourist destination in Indonesia with the city of Batu as its center. East Java has a number of interesting sites. One of the tourist icon is Mount Bromo in East Java, which is inhabited by the Tengger tribe, where the ceremony is held every year Kasada. In the mountainous region of Tengger also there is a waterfall that is Madakaripura which is the last hermitage Mahapati Gajamada before serving in the kingdom of Majapahit. Madakaripura waterfall has a height of about 200 meters, which makes it the highest waterfall on the island of Java and the second highest in Indonesia. East Java also has some other mountainous tourist area of which is Malang Raya mountainous area known as the natural mountain tourist area that includes Malang and Batu. Treats and Trawas mountainous areas, are also known to have characteristics such as Punchak area in West Java province. Other natural attractions in East Java is the National Park, 4 of 12 national parks in Java, and Taman Safari Indonesia 2 in Prigen. East Java is also contained relics of history in the classical era. Trowulan sites in Mojokerto, once the center of the Majapahit kingdom, there are dozens of temples and tombs of the kings of Majapahit. Other temples spread throughout much of East Java, including Penitaran Temple in Blitter. In Madura, Sumanep is the center of the Kingdom of Madura, where there are Kraton Sumanep, museums, and the tombs of the kings of Madura, Astatingi Sumanep. East Java is known for its coastal scenery. On the south coast there is the Priji Beach, Peling Beach and Pasir Puta Beach in Trengalak, Popa Beach in Tulungagung, Ngliyep Beach, and tourism areas such as the Jatim Park, Batu Secret Zoo, Batu Night Spectacular, Eco Green Park in Batu, and the Watu Ulo Beach in Jember. East Java also has a beach that the waves is one of the best in the world, namely the Plenking Beach located in Banyuwangi. In addition there Kenharan Beach in Surabaya, and the White Sand Beach in Situbondo. Lake in East Java, among others Sarangan in Magadan, I.R. Sutami Dam in Malong, and Selareho Dam in Blitter. The coastal area of the north there are a number of tombs of the saints, who become religious pilgrims travel for Muslims. Five of the nine Wali Songo buried in East Java, Sun and Ampel in Surabaya, Sun and Jiri, and Malik Ibrahim in Gresik, Sun and Drajit in Pasiran, Lamongan, and Sun and Benang, Tuban. In the northern coastal region there are a number of cases, including, Cave Maharani in Lamongan and Tuban Akbar Cave and Cave Gong located in Pasadan. Pilgrimage attraction in East Java, among others, the tombs were also proclaimed the Republic of Indonesia's first president Sokarno contained in Kota Blitter, as well as the tomb of the fourth Indonesian president Abdurrahman Wahid, Gus Dur is located in Jambang. Malang Metropolitan Region is a leading tourist destination in Indonesia with the city of Batu as its center. Malang has various tourist areas including volcanoes to beaches, as well as man-made tour of the history of travel to an international class theme park with the support of inter-provincial transportation via trains, buses, and airplanes are available in Malang. Surabaya is the center of government, and the business center of East Java, where there are Tugu Palawan, the Museum MPU Tantular, Surabaya Zoo, Submarine Monument, Ampel Region, and the Tunjungan area. National Parks 
Meru Batiri National Park, between Jember and Banyuwangi districts, this park covers 580 square kilometers 224 square miles. Hard to get to, it contains coastal rainforest and scenery and is home to abundant wildlife. Alasperwo National Park. This 434 square kilometers, 168 square miles park is formed by the Blambangan Peninsula, southeastern Java. Comprising mangrove, savanna, lowland monsoon forests and beaches, the park's name means first forest in Javanese. Javanese legend says that the earth first emerged from the ocean here. Valuran National Park. This 250 square kilometers, 97 square miles, national park is located in northeastern Java, known as the Little Africa. Formerly extensive savanna has been largely replaced by acacia. Bromo Tengar Semaru National Park, located in East Java at the region of Prabalingo and Pasaruan, 70 kilometers, 43 miles, from Surabaya, the capital city of East Java Province. Mount Bromo is one of the great hiking and trekking destinations for overseas tourists. The scenic view of Bromo also attracts hundreds of photo enthusiasts to see the views there. Cuisine Some typical East Javanese dishes include bakso malong, raan, and tahu champur lamongan. Surabaya is famous for rajak singor, samangji, lontong balap, clam satay, mussels, and rice cakes. Malong is popular for a variety of processed fruits, especially apples, tempeh crisps, bakpeotelo, bakso malong, raan, and cwie noodles. Kedari is famous for tahu takwa, tahu pong, and gedik pisang. Madian is known for pasel madian, and is a producer of brem. The subdistrict of Babat, Lamongan is famous as a producer of winko. Bondawoso is also well known as a producer of tape. Gresik famous is for nasi krao, otak otak bandang, bongolan. Sidorio is famous for shrimp crackers, shrimp paste, and pettis. Nawi is famous for tempeh chips, tahu tepo, and nasi lepak. Blitter has the typical food that is pasel. Rambutan is also native to blitter. Banyuwangi is famous for sigo tempong, salad soup, and pasel ron. Jember have special food made of tape that is suwar suwar and tape prol that is very sweet. Corn is known as one of the staple food of the Madaris, while cassava is processed into gaplik, a staple food used to be a part of the population in Pasitan and Trengalek. Tulungagung is famous for its lodo, goat satay and patty rice. References External links East Java Travel Guide from Wikivoyage In Indonesian, official website